Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. Well, it is 6 hours and 16 minutes into the 10th day of November, 2021. And we have entered the, uh, typical, my, this is my weekend, this is where on Wednesdays I sleep all day, it's my sleep vacation. The way things go is that you get so tired that the best vacation you could ever have just that. The best vacation you ever have, and can ever have, is going to bed, going to sleep. Uh, although it, it, it does, my work does continue. Ooh. On the other side, and ironically enough, I'm, now I'm yawning. I wasn't not yawning before, I haven't yawned in, in more than an hour. Now that I'm talking, I, I'm yawning again, so go figure. Anyway, as I said, by Wednesday, then today is Wednesday, uh, my body is more or less spent. I need uh, some extra time off. But it, 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 the time off comes in hours. And, because I'm still, I still do work. I still, uh, it's not that I haven't done any work. I'm still doing work. It's just, I don't do the work that I would, I don't do the amount of work I would typically do on a regular day. So it's, it's a shortened time period or a certain short time frame. And I take that extra time to sleep. And that, that's just sort of uh, the way things go. So I did finish the YouTube stroll. I went by the Leroy's. I went by It's Our Life. Uh, and everyone's sort of getting ready for Christmas now. So it's interesting uh, time of year. Uh, because people... Are in middle as much as they're trying to get rid of Christmas. Uh, people becoming more and more Christmas oriented, uh, and so they uh, start the day early, <laughs> start the the, ho ho the holiday early. And Capri is one of these people who wants to have Christmas for a long period of time, so. Starting November, started right after Halloween, she started decorating for Christmas. I lost to go all the way until February. I said, well, why, why go to February? Well, uh, little known fact is that George Washington and uh, the uh, Dickens uh, Christmas Carol all occurred on the 7th of January. Uh, what was had to happen is, is that there was a shift in the late 1500s, in the calendar, went, one went from the, uh, the ancient uh, astronomical calendar, and that was where Christmas was on the 25th, to a newer uh, calendar under Pope Gregory called the Gregorian calendar now. And, but it's not necessarily a, a papal calendar. What it is, it's basically the solar calendar. And I said, before, I said this before, is that if you do anything with the ancients, you always have to reference the moon, the planets, and so on and so forth. You have to have you have to have them all in reference in, in each other. And this is why you, you have the, uh, having the moon in the seventh house, and you know, and Jupiter aligns with Mars and stuff like that. You have these sort of astronomical astron uh, these astronomical alignments for astrology because this tells you uh, uh, you know. It, the motion of the stars have a particular meaning, so they had to get it right, and so there was a lot of uh, uh, effort put into mathematics. This is where most of your calculus and, and mathematics come from. It's, it, it, in order to get the magic right, because they a lot of these uh, mathematicians were magicians as well. They were involved in, in magic, like alchemy and stuff like that. A large chunk of your sciences came out of sort of the understanding of the natural world interconnected with the spiritual world. Uh, th so what happens, they, they, they were trying to sort of divine and understand how the universe functioned so that they could participate in this and get what they wanted out of it. And to, uh, to get the right understanding, they used mathematics to sort of 
break up the work, to break up the oh, chunks of what they had to do. And this is what produced the calendar. But what happened is Pope Gregory said, well, that's the way it was back then. Tossed everything out and just simply used uh, the solar calendar uh, without any reference to anything. And the result was that the original December 25th that Christ was born on was now pushed back uh, to, well, well, actually moved forward to January 7th. So on the older calendar, the astronomical calendar, it's December 25th, that's Christmas. On the newer calendar, it is now January 7th, and the thing is, uh, the uh, the British and the Americans didn't change until about almost like 1900, 19, uh, um, like I think 1890 uh, was when the uh, when the when the uh, Americans and the um, the British changed their calendar to basically what they call the European calendar. And so, but the thing is, is that the Christmas on the seventh still has the twelve days, so you go the, the you go Christmas Day, and then you do another twelve days. So basically, uh, seven and twelve is nineteen. So you go uh, with Christmas all the way to uh, January nineteenth. So you have the twelve days of Christmas, and so you do have a large amount of time to uh, celebrate uh, Christmas. Now I said, "Well, I'm Jewish. What do I do?" Well. The the feast of Hanukkah is not found in the Torah. It's found in the Greek text called the Septuagint, and these are the feasts of the Maccabees. And the feast of the Maccabees is what Hanukkah is. It's the celebration of the candles that lasted for uh, uh, for eight days uh, during a siege. Uh, and so you can actually include Hanukkah uh, within the Feast of Christmas. So you go all the way, you know, in terms of the official, the, the official Christmas, uh, in terms of the the, the whole the whole feast itself is from the ancient church. It's all the way from December first into uh, into uh, January nineteenth. And this is, this is kind of, to understand this even further, this is why people wonder why inauguration is so far out from, from January. This is because the, the, uh, the, the United States at the time under George Washington, and then before then were all under this older calendar called the Julian calendar, which is the astronomical calendar. And they never just sort of transposed the dates. They kept the dates the way they were supposed to be. So, you don't have, um, you don't have, uh, the inauguration falling earlier. You have it basically around the, uh, around the 19th, uh, near the end of January, you have inauguration because it's outside of the Feast of Christmas. So the 19th is when you finish Christmas, that's what we call Fota or the Baptism of the, of the Lord, uh, and... These feasts are sort of interconnected, and that's what produced the 12 days of Christmas, so you would have the inauguration outside of that. So you can actually have a long celebration of Christmas, and I find that it's kind of interesting that that, it, it, that people are more, more and more coming into the sort of the Christmas understanding that uh, there's more to the feast than uh, people initially thought, so... And the thing is, it was happening. That there's, there's a lot of history behind the feast that uh, most people really don't know because a large chunk of the early Christian church is, in, is hidden. Uh, the papacy came in around 1000 A.D. and fundamentally changed what, Christ, what Christianity was. Uh, Christianity was not about war. It wasn't about punishment. It wasn't about uh, any of these things. It, you know that you see today. It was almost all about peace and forgiveness and love. This was the core. And you, you find this today, uh, I was re reading through, I'm on a list on Twitter for uh, Dr. Richard Feynman. He's the, the late physicist. He's 
Nobel Prize winner, and he talks about the, he says that, you know, you have to be humble, you have to be a person of a forgiving nature, you have to be, in order to be properly open, or open in order to, to see beyond yourself into the understandings of physics. These are the traits, and ironically enough, these are the traits that uh, Christ talks about in the Gospel when he says, in order, in order to follow him, you have to deny yourself, that's humility, pick up your cross, deal with your struggles, and follow after me. And that's, that's essentially what Christianity is. Uh, everything else becomes sort of an accessory to it. Uh, anyways, uh, this is the pit stop. This is the transition uh, currently, and uh, now I'm going back to bed. All right, see you then. Well, it is the uh, 10th day of November. It is 18 hours and 8 minutes into the day, and we do have another package opening. That's kind of why we're here. That's how we're setting it up. We're also setting up for breakfast and uh, for uh, uh, beginning the YouTube stroll for today. So let's get this package open. This is a rather easy one. I have a feeling I know what it is, but uh, nonetheless, uh, here we go. And it's exactly what I needed. It's a plug uh, that converts uh, XLR, XLR to a uh, uh, quarter inch. It's for one of the systems I'm uh, installing. So yay for that. I've got this now. Uh, I'll have to sort of see how it work, ends up working out. Because uh, there are a number of options I can use. But uh, I've got it anyway. So onwards and upwards. Uh, <clears throat> I just finished the observation vlog. It is 23 hours and 24 minutes into the 10th day uh, of November 2021. <clears throat> I was just talking about the metaverse, talking about ley lines. Uh, and how people sort of perceive the world around them. There is the perception of the world, but there's also the realities of the world as well that most people don't see. Most people don't see reality. They see a form or a function of reality or an aspect of reality. This includes your conspiracy, conspiracy theorists. And again, that's to repeat myself once again because you need to understand that, oh, you're talking about those right or Trump, those, those right wing Trumpers. Well, no, because even the left wing, the ones who call themselves socialists, this is what you see at Davos. This is what you see at the UN. This is what you see at the International Panel on Climate Change. These people are all conspiracy theorists. They have different views. They have different topics they're working on. But the reality of it is they're all conspiracy theorists. The International Panel on Climate Change takes its direction from a group who believe in aliens. And it's not a new group, it's an old group. And then what they're doing is they're creating these mathematical models, these math, mathematical hallucinations, because now they've got the visualization of data. They can create their own views and, and, so, and create their own form of reality. This is what the, he says, oh, but the metaverse is going to be so dangerous. Well, the metaverse we live in is already dangerous. It's been there for a long time. It's not new. Again, this isn't brought out. It's not understood. And this is what sort of gives me my my thing, where I'm sitting back on my couch. This is my new research, my new research that I've sort of upgraded to that. It's now finally working at a, at near full capacity in terms of what it can, can do. Uh, and I enjoy watching. I enjoy watching. Uh, a number of different vloggers uh, because you're getting to see somebody else's perspective, others' points of view, and uh, sort, of, sort of bowling over the head uh, what's going on in, in Lionel's sort of distaste for things. 
most of the internet, particularly vlogging, is done from a uh, from a female perspective. This is perspective of of being social, uh, topical. They, the females like to show their clothes and uh, everything else, so they have this perspective. And of course, most men don't get this. This is not a male perspective typically, so they're not going going to understand. Well, why do you want to show? Everything you bought when you went shopping, who cares? Uh, but this is something they care about. And, but again, you're not there to sort of, if you're watching this, if you're sort of doing the observation, you're not there for yourself. You're sort of, you know, why don't do why don't they do things my way? <laughs> you're watching somebody else's life. You're watching somebody else, you know, put themselves on display, put their what they want to share of their life with you, and. That's kind of what it is, and so people go out for Halloween. They dress up for Halloween. They they go here for Christmas. They decorate for Christmas. They show you how they decorate their houses and the various different things, you know, in terms of going shopping and the different food they eat. And now people, other people are eating out. The, the big thing is always Chick Fil A, and then uh, if for a while there, uh, it was also Starbucks. It's not Starbucks as much anymore, but they're still, you know, most people eat out at least once a day, and they're spending, you know, close to. Uh, forty dollars, or if not more, uh, in terms of going out to eat, they're spending forty dollars or more uh, on on food for uh, for that day. So, I spend about I spend about between thirty and forty dollars a week on food, <laughs> not a day, a week. And I mean, I just try to. I had last two few weeks uh, tried out Uber Eats and skipped the dishes and so on and so forth. And, and looked at the amount of money I spent, and I said, "Well, I could have gotten a lot of equipment for that." And this, that's the way my life works. It's, you, you choose to go out and eat and sort of splurge, and or you choose to buy equipment. I choose to buy equipment because I know how to cook. So I cook most of my food. I, I make my prepare my meals, and so that I have whatever I have prepared for that particular day. And I typically do uh, my preparations ahead of time, so that a lot of times you, uh, I'm going in now. It's, it'll be about midnight. And I'm going to be too tired to cook. So whatever I'm going to have was already prepared uh, uh, a day ago or earlier in the day. It depends on how much time I have. Uh, but I typically do it at least one day up because I know if you leave it to the last minute, it's not going to be exact. It's not going to be as good as you hope it's to be. <clears throat> Anyways, I think I'm going to leave this here for now. And I will see you for the next transition uh, segment uh, when I'm inside back at the research desk. Well, it is the 11th of November. It is 12 hours and 30 minutes in. 12 hours. Oh, excuse me. And 20 minutes into the day. What, 30 minutes. The time is off. Um, and we're just beginning our pit stop. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Kesley Jade on uh, YouTube Stroll. We have enough content on YouTube Stroll, so it's, gonna, it's going to extend. It's not going to be part. Uh, uh, we're not going on to the cartoons just yet. So uh, Leroy's Kesley Jade. Uh, as I said I enjoy others, other people's perspective. Again, that's my, you know, sitting and listening to a conversation, someone's conversation can be quite inter interesting. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it certainly is mine. So, um. Anyways, a pit stop is needed. Uh, the dreams last night were actually pretty interesting. Um, some of the new meditation that I've been bringing in for, that I've been working on now for the last two months have, has actually come into the dream. And so, it was uh, unusual, but at the same time, it was very pleasant, very I I enjoying. There was a sort of sense of, sat sense of satisfaction that I had done something I had never done before, so, uh, 
I guess there's more to do. Uh, and uh, but, but the body beckons, uh, beckons. It needs its food. It needs its uh, nourishment, and it needs its fuel. So that's why we're at a pit stop right now in terms of the research in the other realm. Uh, and uh, then we're going to go back to that till about 4 o'clock and then head on out uh, for dinner with my parents. And then I'll be back here and outside doing observation by 10 o'clock in the evening. So, But it'll probably be a truncated night because I do have an early morning on, fr on Friday. So uh, we're going to have to sort of adjust the schedule a little bit. Because uh, I have to go do some installation work at church for the new, uh, the addition to the sound system. So, uh, this is a project I've been working on for the last ooh, uh, three, four months. It's finally coming together. So, uh, I'll see you uh, probably uh, later on tonight. We are Cyborg Alpha. Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life.